okay so as you can guess like the uh, the channel id that we are giving is decided at the runtime and uh, which may cause lots of issues uh, for us to find out all the chats available so for now to test it i will just create one more common room uh, as a topic id uh, we will discuss on this in the coming videos that uh, how we can uh, change that to something else uh, okay so for now uh, let's keep it this way and uh, what we will do is uh, the messages that we receive right should be saved and uh, we can even get that list from uh, from here uh, so whenever we subscribe to the topic right so it will be automatically available in the uh, this dot chatting service dot uh, get messages and actually you can even create the channel id queues in the service as well but for now i will create uh, messages as a of any type and it will be the array that can be used as a that can be used when a message is received to this channel and this dot messages dot push uh, and uh, let's create uh, this dot build message and we will simply pass on the pass on d which we received recently and uh, let's print that this dot messages as well uh, here that way we can see the complete list of messages that we got so far so you can see that there is no message yet uh, if i send so you got two messages right and in the msg uh, there is a completely different object altogether so instead of this one uh, what we need is just the message uh, text and the rest of the things is uh, should be taken care by uh, the taken care by the uh, method right so as we are accepting only this one here uh, i think we should simply create a new model uh, using this one and it will uh, auto populate that object okay so as it is null so we can simply say like uh, instead of the here uh, if not d return okay, so this will save us into falling into the errors and uh, we will say hey so in your message model you can see that hey recipient id as this one sender id is this one so if i open up the open up the incognito mode here so there will be altogether a very different channel id that may be created because uh, this is completely new instance hello so the sender id is different so let me just quickly copy this one and paste it here so you can see that 668 and uh, the sender id here is a different one although they are communicating on the same thing so we should start uh, showing these messages uh, here so as you can see that the message is received here which is hello and sent by another window right so this will be uh, interesting part uh, and uh, let's just quickly see uh, how we can plug the messages object in here okay so uh, to do that uh, this is uh, star ng4 let m of free bot library service dot mlgs and uh, 
let me comment rest of the things from this so I guess we fall into error FBLS we I have to make it public okay so when you send a message uh, hey then this will show the message here instead of this message we can say like m dot msg uh, m dot sent on and uh, since this is a date uh, we can say short right so this is a date is angular pipe uh, that you can use and there are many versions of it too which you can use uh, going forward so let's see why it is not showing this one so the font size is 11 i can make it uh, 7 and uh, okay if the message is longer then it actually decides as per the width of its own parent so width 100 percent px so i'm just checking like what could be the better option if we say 50 55 then it is fine i guess so uh, we will have to apply this to dot bubble class so let's dot bubble uh, 256 line number okay here and the font size that we took is 7 so let's see now that how it will look well done so now uh, what we have to do is uh, in this one uh, only the send message is done whenever uh, button is clicked so instead uh, what we will do is uh, key up dot enter so even if you hit enter it will uh, send that message and whenever the message is sent this dot message text should become empty right which is usually what happens in most of the chat applications so when I enter it it receives the message and hopefully that is also received on the other screen uh, if it is open right so let me just pull this side by side let me close other windows Okay, so if I minimize so the messages are sent here but one challenge that you can see like uh, it is not judged whether it's a received message or a sent message so what we will do is uh, there will be a property added at a 
is ascent equal to which will be a boolean and uh, which is usually true and what we will do is uh, if uh, this dot sender id is equals to uh, we actually have to know uh, what is my id that way only we will come to know this dot uh, rather uh, once it once it is received then only we uh, we are deciding so m is equals to constant m is equals to m dot is sent is equals to uh, what we can say is uh, m dot sender id is equals to this dot browser id then it is sent message right otherwise it will be a false so in here what we have to do is uh, message write is the class that you can do uh, so you, you can apply uh, when the message is sent and you will say like ng class is equals to uh, write if m dot is sent right. hopefully this will be the okay so you can see this guy sent a message this guy received a message and if I send from incognito so this guy sent message this guy received a message right so this is how we will uh, implement on the UI side uh, let me just comment this label uh, usually our date is today so uh, for now just say today okay so now uh, the one thing that is uh, still having an issue is like uh, the image uh, here is not displayed right so if you can see uh, there is a profile uh, picture in the actual template but it is missing in our portal sorry not in our application so i will add that uh, image after send message and everything is done so it's a floating image so if i add this here so hopefully you can see this guy's picture okay so i guess this is what uh, we reached up to and uh, we will have to work on the rest of the part uh, the one thing that i notice is like usually the message shades are different uh, usually message shades should should be different for the received message and the sent message so i would like to uh, use a different shade all together for sent and the received message okay so this is not the one or if we just simply change the image it will be much simpler okay so if i go here i will just take another image instead of this one so let me copy this RNG if if it is sent then this image if it is received then this image right so both will have different images and uh, that way we can be we, we will be easily able to distinguish between them
they become uh, same images what a bad luck okay so i've added different image okay so sender image is different and this guy's image is different i know there can be there should be some different name uh, and once whatever they have filled that should start appearing here but what i'm thinking is as this is a chat with uh, support and usually we see the person who we are talking to that's why uh, i'm keeping this as a simple one so you can even ask users to fill up the forms validate that to if, if they want to have more information uh, so let's see the next steps in the next video